Antioch College community. I use the word community quite deliberately today. Too often idealized, community crystallizes on certain momentous occasions. This is one of those occasions. Take a minute, look around you. We live in 360 degrees, so look. <laughs> look around you. In every body, from every background and perspective, from near and far, young and old, gown and town, this is us gathered here right now. We are the Antioch community. And together, we celebrate the commencement of the class of 2018. The education I have received at Antioch has challenged me not to only question, but act in service of disenfranchised people. If we leave this college without a sense of responsibility towards each other, we will have failed. Education isn't just about yourself, but it's about the use of that education. I have grown by leaps and bounds in terms of my political development, and I encourage all of you to reflect on your values, question them, and act in service with colonized and marginalized people. I say service with because we all have a duty from the moment we sit foot on this land that is not ours to rectify institutional wrongs and serve the communities we belong to with the grace and compassion they deserve. At Antioch, we choose to embark on a great act of extension, extending ourselves for ourselves, for one another, and for Antioch. We are willing to reach, and it is in this courageous invitation of openness that we might come close to our deepest knowing and deepest loving. I believe that Antioch faces the same issues that many institutions do, but we are unique in that because of our size and scope, the mechanisms of the institution are laid bare for us. And in that visibility lies opportunity. We're always moving towards the possibility of Antioch and its very mission is an ideal. And in that the mission of Antioch is never complete and the institution itself never complete, we are always both arriving and departing. To live in the in-between, <laughs> To live in the in-between is often uncomfortable, often unsettling, but it reveals to us the fundamental truth of our changeability, that we are, in fact, never transformed, but always transforming. Antioch has helped me to confront the possibilities of becoming. Antioch has melted me. I am a lifelong learner and becomer. Myself and Antioch will continue to transform, but we will always be at home together in our desire. Thank you. While I was skeptical when I first read this over four years ago in the book Colleges That Change Lives by Lauren Pope, I believe it today. Quote, there is no college or university in the country that makes a more profound difference in, the, in a young person's life or that creates more effective adults. None of the Ivies, big or small, can match Antioch's ability to produce outstanding thinkers and doers. This is why I believe the world needs more Antiochians. The world needs people who can think of alternative ways of governing from within a traditional administrative hierarchy. The world needs people who can find creative solutions with little financial resources. The world needs people who fight to live free of all forms of interpersonal and structural violence. The world needs people who feel the urgency to make the world a better place. And the world needs risk takers, the type of person who comes to an unaccredited institution who comes to a college that had closed just six years earlier, who comes to a college that had less than 300 students, and the world needs people who can continue to have fun through it all. <laughs> and this is why I will leave here tomorrow feeling proud to call myself an Antiochian. Thank you.
you, maybe an Antiochian, if you've ever argued about what defines being an Antiochian. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, you may be an Antiochian if you wouldn't be here without the help and support from faculty, staff, your classmates, and your loved ones. <laughs> You may be an Antiochian if this celebration today has helped you see more value in the past ups and downs of these few years. Or if once you leave, you're ready to make some serious changes in the world around you. You may be an Antiochian if you're so excited to see all the work that's being done to help revitalize this campus. <laughs> And if you recognize just how amazing our alumni are, and you're ready to be part of that network very soon. <laughs> On that note, if you may be an Antiochian if you're ready to follow in the footsteps of our alumni, but you're gonna do it in your own unique way. <laughs> <laughs> You'll miss parts of this place and the people in it for the rest of your life, even if you don't wanna say it out loud. <laughs> You can begin to take note of the fact that the second thing that Crying Alum told me, oh so long ago, was that because Antioch broke me, nothing will ever break me again. <laughs> Look at the people we are now, today on this June 23rd, 2018, how we are no longer questioning if we are capable of being resilient or world changers, no longer wondering if we secretly sold our souls to the devil when they asked us to be ashamed if we've won no victory for humanity. Wow. <laughs> Those are heavy expectations, Horace Mann. We can live in contradiction. I can't say that I saw myself as I am now four years ago, but I can say these last four years of expectations and disappointments, of struggle and perseverance, have been the most formative and irreplaceable years of my life. That the friendships I've made with the staff and faculty, along with my peers, are undeniable. And I can now truly hope that as Antioch continues to open itself up to the next group of students who may start their applications a little too early and finish them almost too late, <laughs> that it recognizes what it is. The home of strong-willed, always looking for a laugh or a jab, independent Antiochians who are tenaciously honest Thank you for every contradiction. Thank you. As I reflect upon these four dynamic years, Antioch has instilled in me a childlike faith and resolve to do more. It has given me a set of tools and an expectation for a better world. I am so blessed to have had this Antiochian experience because it has helped forge a new path for not just me, but a whole community of people who want to do the heavy lifting to raise all of us up. I'll leave you with a quote that has studied me when I doubt myself. You may counter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it might be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are, what you can rise from, and how you can still rise out of it. Maya Angelou, thank you. <laughs> 